So I've got this crazy little guy at home. He's completely wild and crazy. He's the sweetest little man that I know. His name's Dean, he's about four and a half, and he likes to wrestle. He likes, he'll walk up to me sometimes, he'll be like, Dad, I want you to destroy me. And I will, like a good father, absolutely annihilate that young man. But then what sometimes will happen when we're in the heat of battle and we're wrestling around and rolling and doing headlocks and he's doing kidney punches and stuff is he'll all of a sudden say with complete authority, we're on pause, we're on pause, we're on pause. And then my job is to just completely stop what I'm doing. I can't do anything about him. I can't defend myself. I can't like... I just had to kind of sit there and wait. And he gets to go and do whatever he wants. Maybe he's gonna go get a snack. Maybe he's gonna go grab a Nerf gun. I don't know what he's gonna do, but I can't do anything until we're off pause. And here's the thought that I think is worth thinking about, colleague. You and I struggle sometimes, don't we, to be on pause from teaching. In fact, we've even got this like pop idea amongst educators that, you know, great teachers can never turn it off. We can never turn it off because we're so heroic. We love the children so much. We can't stop, you can't stop loving a child, can you? Yeah, there's like this idea, this uh, machismo sense of, I never turn teaching off, I always care. And, and I think that it's really broken because sometimes, sometimes you just gotta go on pause. Sometimes you gotta go get a snack or you gotta go get a Nerf gun or you gotta go take a jog. Leave your classroom, throw on some running shoes, take a jog, take a little walk. Sometimes you gotta pull out a lawn chair and you gotta just go sit someplace where you can get a little bit of green and you just gotta sit there and do nothing or read a book that has nothing to do with teaching or go on a walk with someone that you love and take your fingers and intertwine them with theirs or write a letter to your grandma or go sit in a park and watch people or take a taco tour of all the places on Google Maps that your phone tells you serve tacos and you just eat tacos until you are about to perish. You just gotta be on pause sometimes. You gotta be on pause. And you know the thing with being on pause is when you come back, it, it's all there. I'm still there ready to wrestle Dean and absolutely destroy him when we're back. I'm ready, I'll be there. He knows that, so he knows that he can go on pause. And Kyle, like, our work is gonna be there. It's, it's gonna be there. No matter what I do this weekend, there's gonna be a ton to do on Monday. That's just being a teacher today. I mean, that's just being a teacher ever. There's always work to do in teaching. And so sometimes, sometimes you just gotta go on pause. And that, to me, is a thought worth thinking. More thoughts worth thinking videos to come, so make sure you give a little subscribe. As the kids say, no, I'm not saying, I'm not saying smash that like button. That is, that is profane. Take care.